If you're going to get yourself an electric car, you're going to need to install a car charger at home. You can use a plug into a regular 13 amp socket, but that will take about two days to charge your car. So you really need a car charger. We opted for a Zappi from My Energy, not just because it meant we could charge the car in a matter of a few hours, but also because it would give us the option to use surplus self-generated solar electricity. Uh, I'll explain that concept a bit more in my Eddy video, so I'm not going to do that here. But essentially, it boils down to uh, charging the car with sunlight, so charging the car for free. And this video, well, it's helped me clarify a few things for myself about the Zappi and how it works. Uh, it's something I wish I had seen at the outset, so I hope it might be useful for you too. Here in the garage, we've got our Zappi car charger. The garage is 30 metres from the house, so we had some installation issues because the Zappi needs to talk to the Eddy up in the house uh, and connect to the internet, and it's out of range of both radio frequency and Wi-Fi. So we had to run an armoured Ethernet cable up to the house to make those connections. Uh, once done, though, that was all fine and no problems. Um, there is um, an interface on the front of the device here. To be honest, we don't use it. I'll talk you through how we use it, how we use the Zappi via the app uh, in a moment. It's much, much simpler. But what you can see here is um, a cable. Uh, we've got the tethered version of the Zappi, and it comes with a 6.5 meter cable, which makes it really easy to connect to the car, which I'll do right now. First things first, to plug the car in. So with the car plugged in, you can now see that the uh, Zappi is in stopped mode. And you can also see that we are sending lots of self-generated solar energy to the grid. We need to do something about that and send it to the car instead. So let's switch to the app. Here in the app, you can see the green leaf in the middle representing our solar self-generated electricity. On the right, there's the grid symbol. You can see the arrows pulsing towards it and the figure above the grid symbol showing that we're sending 4.5 kilowatts now. It's a dynamic figure uh, to the grid. And on the left, we've got the Zappi car charger, which is in stop mode. If I tap on the Zappi icon, we get through to the Zappi page on the app, where you can see top left that it is indeed in stopped mode, confirmed by charging mode stop on the right of the screen as well. You can also see that we've added zero kilowatts so far. There are three principal charging modes, and the first of these is fast, which will send seven kilowatts to the car, whether or not that's from uh, green energy or drawn from the grid. And if you need to charge your car quickly, this is the mode for you. Eco mode is kind of hedging your bets, because you'll get at least 1.4 kilowatts, even if that's coming from the grid. And when there is surplus, it'll uh, top up the charge with that. So your car will definitely get charged, but it'll take a bit longer than it would do with fast mode. Eco Plus is the green option. And if I select that, you can see straight away that the Zappi status has changed to waiting for surplus. And that's because Eco Plus is all about your surplus green energy. The thing to watch for this is that if there isn't 1.4 kilowatts available, then nothing will happen and your car won't get charged. Now you can change the amount of surplus green energy you want as a percentage for this charge. You can see it's currently at 50%. And so if it needs 1.4 kilowatts to start charging, then it'll need 0.7 green available, 50% green, in order to start the charge. Now we can change that 50% up to 100%. Eco Plus at 100% is definitely the most satisfying of all the settings when there's enough surplus energy available because you're charging your car with solar electricity that you would otherwise be returning to the grid. You're charging it for free, provided there's enough, of course. And bingo, there we are, 0.1 kilowatts already sent. And if we go back to the home screen, you can see now that instead of returning all that surplus energy to the grid, we're now sending it to the Zappi. Now, of course, you can't always rely on free solar energy to charge your car. Uh, fast will always do it, fast mode. But if you've got a tariff that gives you cheap electricity in the small hours of the morning, then you may want to use a scheduled charge. 
um, the schedule charge is easy to do. Let's look at how to set one up. Back on the Zappy home screen, you can see we're still in Eco Plus mode. You can also see that there are three different boost settings, manual, smart and scheduled. Now, if I wanted a manual boost, I would have to be in Eco or Eco Plus mode already. But to schedule a boost, I could be anywhere, including stop. The EV could be disconnected, whatever. Let's go ahead and press scheduled. Now you can see a calendar grid with um, Monday through Sunday on the Y axis and the time of day on the X axis. And there's a little red box there that tells you conveniently that I'm, I'm doing this at about four o'clock on a Saturday. Below that, you can see a plus sign. And if I tap on that, up come the parameters for the boost that I want to set. And I'll tap on W for Wednesday. And then I get a start time, so I'm choosing 1 a.m. And then a duration. If I set it for four hours, it will run from one o'clock to five o'clock in the morning. Tap on OK and it's done. A little bit of thinking time for the app to get that sorted. And then you can see the schedule boost on the calendar. On Wednesday from 1 till 5, there's a thick blue line indicating where it'll be. And below that, there's the 1 o'clock plus 4 o'clock and then the days as well with an X on the right. Tap on the X to delete it. Again, thinking time. And it's done. So it really is pretty easy, but the best way is not for me to tell you about it, but for you to have a play with it yourself. Be aware that Zappy comes with scheduled charges already programmed. So if your car is plugged in overnight, uh, it will use them unless you've deleted them. So if you haven't got a cheap tariff, you might want to delete them before you go any further. And that's it. Uh, this video is intended only as a general introduction. There's much more that could be said about all the different options that are available with us happy. But essentially, we're really happy with what we've got. And I hope this video helped.